Hey there people, my name is Tagore and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Last time we got into Monstro and uh, we fought the Parasite Cage. Right now we're going to use the Key of Truth. Come out this door, the last door here in Monstro. Let's see what it's got in store for us. Looks like this is as far as we go. Ready then? Let's shake things up. It would be easier if we had someone to fight. Perfect timing. Looks like we've got company. Alright, so it looks like it's just a gauntlet. More and more now we're fighting in the key of... Uh... Uh, the second door. To fit the heartless, to fill the gauge, fill the gauge within the time limit. Careful, the gauge will decrease with time. Well! Uh, I'm glad that I checked out my deck just a little bit. I, I added uh, a few more attack cards, specifically. Gauge does fill up rather quickly, though, which is very good. Very, very Uh, just keep these ones. Good. So this is cool, though. It's, it's basically just a, a place to grind for the XP. While at the same time... You're under pressure. Come on, Goofy. Come on. There we go! That was pretty easy. We get Dumbo. Dumbo summon card. Wait. Oh, look. It's working. Monstro's gonna sneeze. Now I know what getting shot out of a cannon feels like. Where's Pinocchio and his dad? They're gone. They must have gotten out safely. Without you, Jimmy, I thought there was no escape. I thought there was no escaping your conscience. I don't mind being left behind, as long as they're both safe. Maybe Pinocchio doesn't need me after all. What do you mean? That little puppet used to have trouble telling right from wrong. But he's come a long way. Maybe he doesn't need Jiminy Cricket anymore. Seems like he's got a conscience of his very own. Don't you remember what Geppetto said? There's nothing better than being reunited with someone you care about. I bet Pinocchio's counting the days till he can see you again. Yeah, except you're forgetting something. This isn't the real Pinocchio. Well, what do you know? You might be right. This Pinocchio is just a figment of your imagination. <sighs> Wonderful. Conqueror's Respite. Grab these orbs. I did, between episodes, make a Moogle room and buy a bunch of stuff. That's why I only have 170. I really didn't get anything good. Hmm. I am gonna save real quick, just in case there's something through this door. Okay, so let's see what's through this door. So what? I'm going to send out to remember about that other door. Hmm. Just bits and pieces. Maybe you could try telling us some more stuff about her. Who knows? It might even help you remember other things. 
Well, uh... She was quiet, and always drawing. When we'd go to the beach, she'd draw a picture instead of swimming. Sometimes she'd draw us, too. She was really good. <laughs> I remember Riku and I fighting over who she'd draw next. But one day, she was gone, just like that. I think the grown-ups knew the reason. They might even have tried to explain some of it to me. But I was little. I probably didn't understand what was happening. I remember crying after she was gone. But that's all. I still don't remember her name. Oh, I bet you'll remember it in no time. Ah, <sighs> I must point out, Sora keeps remembering things instead of forgetting them. It seems to me, forgetting things may be the only way to reach the memories buried deeper down inside each of us. So we should forget in order to remember? Like those guys said, our most precious memories lie so deep in our hearts that they're out of reach. All that stuff about finding, being losing, and losing being finding? I didn't get it at first, but maybe this is what they meant. Gore, Sora, I think I'm a little jealous of you. How come me and Donald and Jiminy aren't remembering more of the stuff from our memories? Come on, Goofy. Let's get going. We gotta forget things faster. Now, it's at this point that I would not trust anything that I was remembering. Yeah, you gotta say. See how much you remembered? It won't be long before her name comes back to you, too. Aw, oh, I wish I had lots of buried memories to remember. Just as we intended. We'll continue with our plan. Let's see how far this group will go. You had your fun on the first floor. So this time, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm not going to just give it to him. Don't break him. Well, do I detect a soft spot? I'm not gonna break the toy. I'm not dumb. Don't forget. Sora is the key. We need him if we're going to take over the organization. I know that you're in on it too. But keep it under your hood. At least until the time is right. You would have been wise to have done the same, Larkseen. So, Sora, did anything back there help you remember your friend's name? Uh, her name's the only thing I can't seem to remember. You gotta try. Hurry up and remember it. <laughs> what do you gotta say now? Don't, just, don't you just hate it when something's on the tip of your tongue? If you ask me, you're this close to remembering your friend's name. Hmm. Well, we've got one more world card. Halloween Town. Go ahead and use it. Grab it. Show it. And it disappears. Because, right? <laughs> and 
and our costumes change. Gosh, don't like the looks of this place. I bet it's crawling with ghosts. Ah, phooey, there's nothing to worry about. You won't be spooked if you already know what's coming. Not even real ghosts can frighten us anymore. If they take one look at us, they'll be the ones to run away. You really think so? Trust me. Welcome to Halloween Town! Ah! A ghost! Wow, that was the best shriek I've heard in ages. If you're that easy to scare, we're gonna have a great time! Sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Jack Skellington, and this is Halloween Town. People around here call me the Pumpkin King. So, if you're looking for a ghoulishly good time, you've come to the right place. Well, we aren't. Too bad, because at the moment, we've got a bit of a problem in Halloween Town. What kind of problem? Well, like this. Of course, it would be heartless attack. Okay, so we got white knights already. Uh, just, you know, pointing that out. How much is that? 25? Is that from the white knight? No, 80! Oh, wow. See, I was hoping to get them. Ah, uh, creeper vines. <laughs> okay, so this Goofy card... Uh, it didn't look like Goofy. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was like, the Werehog Sonic. Don't ask me why. It doesn't even make sense in my head. I botched that spell. Charge, reload. <sighs> White Knights, so many of them. That would have been the place to use it. The, the Bizarra. It's a card drop. There it is. Okay, do I have the card drop? There's one. That is the third Goofy at the least. Two fours, or I'm sorry, two zeros. So even if I stock them up together, freaking four. Another Goofy. Or, you know, just let me kill him easily. Trying to get that experience over there. I did grab one, but at this point, why? Calm Bounty. I will be using that as soon as possible. It's always a good idea to start off each floor using a Calm Bounty, because there may be some special treasure, like the, the fire raid we got in the last floor. What's the big idea? Why'd you go and call the Heartless? I didn't call them. I just knew when they were going to show up. In fact, I'd love to get rid of them. They're actually... They actually go around attacking people instead of just scaring them. Why are they here? I was just going to ask Dr. F Finkelstein the same question. I'm heading to his laboratory right now. Follow me. Sora, what should we do? I guess we'd better go. I don't like this. What if he's leading us right into the Heartless? Bingo! You saw right through me! Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now let's get going. Yearn Terror. Oh. Uh, two summon cards and Jack or Simba Mushu and an item. Two summon cards and Jack. Uh, okay. Won't be using that. 
but whatever. I actually did between episodes. Was it last episode? Uh, between some episodes, I learned Zanset Zanset Suken. Zantetsuken. There we go. That's the one. Uh, it's either zero or nine on yeah, stock yeah. cards. So it's either really easy to break or really hard to break. But anyway, it's a fast attack. There's a ton of damage with a chance to just straight up execute enemies. Can I use this? Did they take damage? Yeah. Of course yeah. they took damage. Okay. Ally cards bouncing around. Can I grab some? Ow. I was saying to myself, don't get broken. Don't use that card and get broken. You need to get broken. Best I can. Do you dominate if you can count as summon cards? Who keeps breaking things like that? Gargoyle? I would imagine it's the, the Creeper Vine, because they seem to have pretty high cards in. as uh, a way to balance them out since they can't move. This fires at us. And I can't do anything about it. In this world, we have Jack as an ally, and oh, that's just Kingdom Key. I'm hoping we unlock Pumpkinhead just for visiting the world. But I'll see it. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, we have Jack here on our, in this world, and he's basically. Um, he's basically Donald. He does the exact same thing. He, he casts one of three spells. Uh, four spells, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There's a more. I don't remember how many spells he cast. So Donald can use any one of the spells that you've already unlocked, I think. Yeah. Could be wrong about that. Maybe it's just Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, or Cure. So I, don't, I don't know if he does gravity. Gravity or arrow. An arrow in this will be a little different. I'm, I actually can't wait to unlock that because soon after that, I find some pretty good abilities. Maybe that's just for leveling up. I, I'm not sure. But let's see what's in this chest. It is Gifted Miracle. What do we need? Summon Magic Jack. Bambi Blizzard item. Reload cards and reset the counter while restoring HP. Sora and foes. Oh. Well then. Summon Magic Jack. I don't have any summon cards in my deck, but I think Cloud may be one of the few that I'll use. Simply because, well, you'll see later. He, he has a very cool ability, very useful ability tied to him. From what I remember, it's, again, it's been quite some time since I've played this game. Uh, since I played it through, I'll specify that. We have the key of the door of beginnings already. We need a three, a four. We got this. Neither of those. Neither of those either. We have 14 calm bounties. I don't want to use them. I'll use this meeting ground, and then that, and unlock the door. Allow me to introduce Dr. Finkelstein. 
He's a world famous genius. Yes, maybe too. Maybe I'm too smart. I'm afraid I've created something horrible. What's that? Well, have you ever stopped to think about the power of true memories? True memories? You see, my boy, our hearts are full of memories. But not all of them reflect, reflect the truth. The heart isn't a recording device. Even important memories change with times. They warp a fade, leaving us with but a shadow of what we hope to remember. Could that be happening to me? It happens to everyone. Some memories grow ugly and some become more beautiful. If we could recover our true memories, the world would seem completely different. So I devised a potion from forget-me-nots that brings our true memories back. Did it work? Well, that's the problem. As soon as the doctor got a whiff of the potion, Heartless started popping up. Sounds like a failed experiment to me. No, my research is flawless! I just need another look at the potion to find out what went wrong. Unfortunately, it's vanished. Maybe someone swiped it. It must have been Sally. Jack, you've got to find her and get my potion back. Leave it to me. Can I tag along? What for? I want to know more about these true memories the doctor keeps talking about. Excellent. Then let's go find Sally. Key of Guidance. But I think with that... Maybe? Yep, I think with that I am going to end it here. So, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, and please join me again for another episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. <laughs>